some technique demonstrations. Um, one I'll be demonstrating is a simple takedown and to break it down, uh, there are parts on the human body that are just vulnerable no matter how many push-ups you do <laughs> or, or how, like, how well you exercise. The structure of the human body is the same all around. So like, there are several points in the body uh, known as balance points. For example, these two corners here, no matter how hard he tries, if I were to shove one, it would go back. That's just a natural reaction. So what I'm going to do is show you how to break down um, using both their momentum from a punch and actually result in a takedown from it. So, uh, yep, you'll throw that punch. So what you want to do is, you know what, let's switch so I can see what's going on. So he's going to throw a cross, right? And what you want to do is you want to move to the side and hook the hand and bring it around and you want to lay your leg into the back of their knee resulting in them into falling. So we'll do one and more real time. So. <laughs> so uh, that was no, any any questions or comments on that? Yeah. You ever got into a real fight and did that and thought about stumping them out afterwards? Like, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like really taking it that far? Yeah. <laughs> Be a dick move. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's control right. that separates us from animals and from. <laughs> Degenerates, I suppose. I mean, like, it, I mean, it's true enough. After he took me down, I mean, what makes sense to really, as you say, take, take it, it that far? Mm -hmm. But you want to go to jail? But yeah, yeah. And, and, think about the, and think about the altercation itself. Yeah, generally, because that's a very <laughs> passive move yeah. to make. Mm -hmm. You didn't actually hurt them at all, yeah. and they kind of just got punked. So really, the, 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 their pride's hurt more than anything. Right. Okay. I mean, it's uh, escalation of force. Uh, yeah. Uh, what I'm doing, uh, is that really warranted in the uh, type of situation we just went through? Like, uh, he, all he did was just call me out. I kind of just showed him that he ain't want none. Mm -hmm. That was it. I mean, it's not like, um, like in the next uh, application we're going to show, uh, please. He's going to throw a strike. And then from here, all the thing I'm doing is I'm twisting. This is a catch. It's that same block that I showed you that I was explaining to you all, the uh, wing arm. Mm -hmm. I deflected it so I can catch it here. All I'm doing now is bringing it down. Mm -hmm. That's it. <clears throat> this, you can do this to detain someone and just hold them. Mm -hmm. I mean, from here, I can just hold them here and kind of just guide myself out of a door or something. I mean, it's, um, do that again. From here, now I want you to resist. Mm. From here, I, what I do is just, just drive it over here. Mm. Um, that um, encompasses a technique that he used, which is the lopsaw, also known as grabbing hand, but through the strike. It's a grab. It's like if he wanted to, he could yank me and then... And, and follow through with a punch, but exactly. I was showing a more passive. Exactly. Yeah. Like I said, it's about the escalation of force. It's, it's not necessary to use... Um, uh, so certain degrees of techniques in uh, any given situation. Like if he threw a cross, same thing. What I did here, blocked here, and then broke it back. This it has a, a numerous uh, self-defense applications, such as same thing. We're going back to escalation of force. You just kind of just want to show the guy you don't want none, and they kind of just walk away. From it. <laughs> it's not necessary to take it too far. Where did you want? Did any of you guys want to do a demonstration?